please click the subscribe button to empower us to continue making more video. Thank you very much. Now that you have set up your autoresponder system, you can set up your web forms. In other words, web forms are forms that allow you to collect people's emails and their names and get them onto your email list. Now, keep in mind that a lot of you may not need to do this, especially if you're using a landing page creation system like lead pages or something else that connects to get response or your autoresponder system through API. If you're doing it that way, you're not going to really need to know how to do this. You only need to know how to do this if you're not using those systems. Now, at the same time, if you don't know how to do this and you've never done this before, I would highly recommend that you actually watch this video so that you have a better understanding of how things work, because there will come a time where you may need to set this up. So with that said, let's jump on over to getresponse.com and I'm gonna show you how to set up a web form. Okay, so to create a form, all you need to do is go to this forms and surveys. So click on this and you're gonna see manage forms. Next thing is click on create form. And then of course you'll have the ability to create a form. So you can either use the list builder wizard, as you can see here. So this is a variety of different forms. You can create newsletter signups, free course signups, different types of purposes too, like leave feedback, feedback forms, Facebook forms, blank forms, order forms, and more. So it's not just web forms, there are all sorts of different forms. But for this purpose today, and in this particular video, we're gonna focus on signup forms. So we're gonna click on newsletter sign up. And even though this information has like non-profit organization, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use that logo. As long as you see something that you like, you can pick it and you can change the graphics, you can change the background, and of course you can change the text. So if we scroll down and we find something that maybe fits our design of our website in our landing page, let's do something like this, use this template. So now at this point, if you select the items, you can actually change them. So this is a different logo, so we could change it to our own logo, click image, and of course go through the process of finding either a logo or clicking my images and finding your logo. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I try to keep my web forms very simplistic. The text should say something like, sign up for this free report, free ebook, free checklist, the top five uh, ways to create a survival meal kit kind of deal. You have to tell people what exactly that they are getting so that they kind of can visualize what they're going to get on the other side. So keep it simple, straightforward to the point, enter the name, email, and then sign up for updates. Now, what I recommend that you do, and this is something that has worked well for us, is to change this into something like send me, send me the report. So that way psychologically, when they click on that, they're thinking, oh, I want you to send me the report, right? If you just have a submit button and that's it, in reality, your conversions are not gonna be as high because it doesn't really tell people what they get. So this tells people what they get, but this tells people that, okay, they're definitely gonna get something. So send me the report, send me the checklist, send me the report to my email. So that way, the next step in their mind, psychologically, they're waiting to receive an email, right? Now you can test this out. If you only want to collect emails only, you could remove the name here. But if you do that, just keep in mind that when you customize your emails and you personalize them, you can't say, hey, first name because you don't have their name. So going through here, these are just elements that you can add. And of course you have the layout and the style. You can change the design, the color and all of that. When you're done, you click on save and publish. And there we go. So we're almost done. And now there are several different options that you have. You can say, I will install the form myself and it'll give you a script code. So this is JavaScript. 
you can click copy and then of course you can add that to your landing page you can add that to your blog now like i said if you're using lead pages then you're never really going to have to even go through this process this process really is only for if you are posting this directly to your blog or anywhere else you can also say get response will host my form so what this will give you is a direct link to a url so if we go here when somebody goes straight to that link they are then of course sent to the opt-in here. I would not recommend that you do this unless it was like a customer or somebody that really trusts you. In fact, I would highly recommend that you use an external landing page creator or you use the built-in one in GetResponse. And if you do that, you don't even need any of this information. And that's how to create a web form. Please click the subscribe button to empower us to continue making more video. Thank you very much.